Good morning, Maker friends. How are y'all doing today? I'm really excited to be here, although I'm kind of struggling a little bit. I can't seem to get my motor running this morning. I've got an extra strong cup of coffee, so I'm really hoping that that's going to help. If you don't know me, my name is Carrie, and I run a YouTube channel called Mama Dare to DIY. I do lots of fun and creative DIYs over there, so if you want to check it out, head on over to YouTube or any of the other social media sites out there and give me a like. Y'all, I'm here today because Amy invited me to debut another new stencil for y'all. And wait until you see this one. Y'all, it is so stinking cute. Let me put my coffee down. I don't want to spill it. This stencil is probably one of my favorites. We've got a lot of holidays coming up. And I know you're going to get a lot of use out of this one. So are you ready to see it? Here goes. Y'all, this stencil is called Food is My Love Language. I love charcuterie boards. That is the whole rage, the whole new thing. Although some people like to call them grown-up <laughs> lunchables. I love a charcuterie board. They're just so much fun. You get to kind of throw a bunch of stuff together on a pretty wooden board. And yeah, you, you, you just get to get creative with your food. I love this new stencil because I can use all of these fun stencils to jazz up that charcuterie board. It's going to be so much fun. Fun. I can't wait to show you what I've got planned for this today. But first, let me know down in the comments below, are you joining us live or are you catching this on replay? Also, let me know down in the comments where you're from. I myself am from Panama City Beach, Florida. We have had crazy, crazy, crazy weather lately, but thank goodness it's beautiful and sunshiny today. So I'm hoping between the sunshine and this extra strong cup of coffee, I can get my day started. Do you want a chance to win this stencil for your very own? All you've got to do is drop three of your friends' names down in those comments below. Tell them to come hang out with us while we work on today's project. And yeah, maybe you can win this stencil. Are you ready to get started? I'm going to switch to the workspace so we can jump right in. Okay, y'all, here's our workspace. But before we get started, I want to give you just a little bit closer look at this stencil. Isn't that fun? I've got several projects planned, as you can see. Let me move my coffee out of the way so I don't spill it. And But all of these are super quick and easy, so I really think I'm going to have time to get all of these done today. The first thing I want to do is open up my stencil and cut everything apart. Can y'all hear the airplanes flying overhead? They are very, very busy today. I really like how all of these already have the lines cut out, so it makes cutting these out super duper easy. It's up to you whether you want to cut them out or if you want to keep them as one sheet. I will admit though, doing them as little separate pieces is definitely easier when you've got all these projects. What's your favorite thing to put on your charcuterie board? Honestly, I don't have a favorite. I love all of the foods. <laughs> okay, so I'm not going to cut all of these small ones apart. I'm just going to cut a few of them. Like I said before, a lot of the things that I'm going to be using today for our projects already had laying around my house so I didn't have to go out and buy a lot of stuff which was great I'm a big fan of using what we've got on hand so I'll cut these out later so the first project I want to do is this little sign y'all I will admit this is just a scrap piece of one by that I had laying around in my garage. I put a quick coat of Manor Gate from the Amy Howard One Step Paints on here. Look, my daughter was drawing little, <laughs> little things on the back. Y'all, I save everything. You never know when it might come in handy, right? So if you've never worked with these mesh stencils before, they are super easy. When you peel off the backing, this is what you get. So some people think, oh my goodness, I got something that is wrong here. This is not how these stencils are supposed to look. These are crazy, cool, reusable stencils. They're not like your normal stencils. 
the one thing you need to remember to do when you're working with these stencils is you want to burnish in your stencil and what that means is you want to just take your finger and you want to make sure that everything is pushed down everything is adhered to your surface that way we're not going to get any bleeds or anything like that this is a really really important step So for this stencil, I'm going to go in with some of the Amy Howard One Step Paint in black. This is a sign that I want to keep around for a while. I do a lot of charcuterie boards. My neighbors and I love to get together and have game night. So this is just something that I know I'm going to be using for a lot of different things. I'm going in with a, a little foam brush here. And I'm just using a dabbing motion. And the reason I'm doing the dabbing motion like this is, this board does have quite a bit of texture on it. And I wanna make sure that all of my paint gets into all of the little cracks and crevices. If you're working on a smooth surface, you can use one of the little scrapers here. These are the new silicone scrapers or one of the older scrapers. But, when I have an uneven surface, I really like to use a foam brush. If you've never used these before, don't be scared. If, you know, you can always play around with it on a scrap piece of material. If you're kind of nervous about it, these are totally reusable. So you can use it on a scrap piece and then you can come back and use it on your real piece. We're going to be serving up something good today. Don't forget down in the comments below if you want to try to win this stencil for your own. All you've got to do is to drop a couple of your friends names down in those comments and one lucky winner is going to win this stencil. So after I pull this up, I've got a bucket of water. Isn't that cute? I love it. I've got a bucket of water and I'm going to drop this into my bucket of water so my paint doesn't dry. So we're going to set this to the side and move on to our next one. For the next project, I'm going to be using this little mini little charcuterie board. I'm going to turn this into a little sign. I actually cut this out on my laser, but a lot of times you can find like the little bamboo, little mini wood cutting boards at Dollar Tree that you can do this same project with. So for this one, I'm going to use this stencil because it's round like my board. And I think that's going to be really cute. So we'll just center this up. For this project, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to burnish in. And for this one, I'm going to go in with my chalk art, my chalk paste. I don't want this to be something that's permanent. I want to be able to maybe change this out. Don't forget to let me know are you watching this live or are you catching us on the replay if you've got any questions be sure to drop those down in the comments too so i'm just going to go in with my chalk art and i'm going to make sure that i get every bit of my stencil covered When you're going in, you can hear that sort of scraping sound. That's how you know that all of your chalk art is getting into the grooves. We're pushing this paint through our stencil. I 
I might should have gone in with a darker color. I hope the white is going to show up on this gray. We'll see. If it doesn't, guess what? We can lay our stencil back down and we can go in with a darker color. I'm going to put the top back on this paint too. I'm a messy crafter, y'all. Okay. Isn't that cute? So adorable. Okay, again, I'm going to drop this down into my water. And y'all, we're going to move on to another project. So for the next project, this is actually a picture frame and it actually had a picture in it, or I guess it was like a little decorative thing. And I picked this up from my Dollar Tree. The frame was a pink color or another color. I don't remember what color it was. And I just went in and painted it with my Amy Howard One Step Paint in black. Also took a piece of black cardstock and cut this to the same size as my back here. So y'all, this is something that we can keep going in and changing out simply by cutting us a new piece of cardstock and putting a new stencil down. Isn't that fun? So I'm pretty much an eyeballer when it comes to this kind of thing. And that looks pretty straight, doesn't it? And again, this is a different material. This is cardstock, but we're gonna do it the same way that we did before. I have a little bit of white chalk paste on my fingers, but guess what? That's okay. It's just going to make it look more like a chalkboard, right? Happy accidents. Okay, so we're going to go in again with that same chalk art. Let's make sure that this is nice and stuck. We're going to do it just like we did with our other piece. Y'all, getting creative is totally a great therapy, don't you think? I already have more energy. <laughs> it might be the extra strong coffee, but I think it's the crafting. This would also be fun with the holidays coming up for your Thanksgiving dinner or your Christmas dinner. If you've got appetizers, you can make a, a really pretty charcuterie board. I'm definitely going to get a lot of use out of this stencil. Okay. I missed one little piece on my stencil there, but you know what? I'm really not going to worry about it. If I was worried about it after this dries, I can always go back in, lay my stencil back down, and redo that one little corner. But honestly, I'm not worried about it. That was totally my fault. So now I'll just put this back on here. And look how cute that is. And it was only a dollar. So we'll move this backer board out of the way. And y'all, let's do another project. We've got time. So this is, again, the same cardstock that I used to cut out this sign. And I just cut off some little sections. I think these are roughly maybe two by three inches. And I folded some of them in half, and I've got some of them just straight. And let's put some of these on to our cardstock. 
You could even do several small boards if you don't want to do one big one. You could have one sweet, one salty board. It's totally up to you. Look how cute that is. And again, you can either have them folded in half like a little tent, or if you want to do one on a flat piece, you can always, I forgot to drop this in my water, you can always just glue a skewer or a toothpick or something like that onto your cardstock. Actually, I'm going to save this one for another project. Let's do this one. If you've got a little container, I'll share with you one of my favorite things I like to use. This is a little clear little jar that came from the Dollar Tree. It's actually plastic, but y'all, it's really, really cute. I like that it's got a little foot on it. Kind of gives me a little height so I can put my little nuts sign on a toothpick and stick it down into my little nuts container. Okay, isn't that fun? And y'all, this is just plain, simple cardstock that I picked up from Michaels. So those are super, super easy. So I've got one more project I want to share with y'all. And this time I'm going to use these little signs that I picked up from, again, guess what? The Dollar Tree. These signs are going to be a little bit bigger. They're going to be a little bit taller. So I can actually set these around my charcuterie board in different little places. And for this one, I'm going to use my God Bless America chalk paste. If you want to make this a permanent item, you know you're going to use this a lot. You can use the no-bake ceramic paints for this. And that way you can keep reusing it over and over and over again. I want to be able to wash this off and use it for something else. So that's why I'm using my chalk paste. This is the most gorgeous color I've ever seen. It's a really, really dark, beautiful navy. Look how cute that is. Now, once you are totally done, don't forget that you need to wash off all of your stencils. They're soaking right now into my water, but I wanna make sure that they stay around and they last me for a long, long time. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash off those stencils when we get done. So y'all, let's take a look at all of the projects. Can you believe how quick these came together? So we've got our little serve up sign. We've got our good food, good mood sign. Food is my love language. And then we've got our little tags that we can put on our charcuterie board so that we know what is what. Okay, y'all, let's set this up just so you can kind of see what everything will look like. My space isn't quite big enough, is it? Isn't that cute? And all of these came together so quick. Again, I'll put a little skewer or a little toothpick down inside this and stick that into my little nuts container and it's gonna be really, really cute. Or you could even like prop it up like that. 
So y'all, these are just a few quick and easy ideas that you can do with this Food Is My Love Language stencil. You can get lots of use out of this. It would save you a lot of time if you're like me and you have atrocious handwriting and you hate trying to make signs for all of your stuff. This would be a great, great time saver and you would also have something pretty to put on your charcuterie board. So let me know down in the comments below what are you thinking you might do with this stencil. I really, really love it. I can't wait to make some of these for Christmas presents. I think this is so pretty. This might be my favorite one. That does it for all of my projects today, y'all. I really want to thank Amy for inviting me here to debut this brand new stencil for y'all. I had an absolute blast. It is a fantastic stencil, Amy. Thank you so, so much for creating such wonderful and such fun things for us to play around with. And y'all, can you get over how cute this is? This might definitely be my most favorite project to date. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments below what you think about everything that I made for y'all today. Also, let me know what are you thinking you might do with this stencil. Don't forget to give this video a like and also let us know, did you watch it live or did you catch it on the replay? Also, if you got any questions, be sure to drop those down in those comments below. We will be going back and answering all of your questions as the day goes on. And don't forget, you've got the chance to win one of these stencils for your very own. You've just got to add a couple of your friends' names down in those comments and tell them they should definitely check out what we're doing over here at a maker studio. So I've got to run, y'all. I've got to grab myself another cup of coffee. But until next time, happy DIYing, y'all.